morning. It is 7.30 a.m. I'm just now leaving the lab. I had to get a whole slew of blood work done. As I'm sure you've noticed, I've been gone for a while. Or maybe you haven't noticed. But if you haven't noticed, I have been gone for a while. I don't know if the sound's gonna be any good on this and I have to redo it all, but we'll try. <sighs> There's something wrong. I don't know what that something is yet. Ooh. Sorry, they were stuck in the road. I have a pretty good idea of what this thing might be. But I don't want to say it yet, just in case it's not it. And, you know, I don't want to take away from anyone who may have this thing. That's what the blood work was for, was to start this process of figuring out what's going on. For those of you who aren't my close family or friends, you may not know. I have an autoimmune disease uh, called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. I've had it, I think it started probably when I uh, was pregnant with my first child, uh, but it wasn't officially, it wasn't officially diagnosed as Hashimoto's until about five years ago. Over the last five years, I've slowly been learning how to live with this. I've been working with a hormone specialist and I've been working on my diet and my nutrition and I was really starting to feel like I had learned how to maintain this thing. And I still kind of feel like the thyroid issues and the Hashimoto's is somewhat under control as long as I take care of myself in the ways that I need. However, I've been having for a while now, I've been having, and when I say a while, it's probably three years, I've been having some pain like in the top of my neck, like right in between my shoulder blades along my spine area and in my shoulders. And I just thought it was an injury or something from overuse or something of that nature. Uh, when it gets sore, I try to take it easy rest it until it gets better and carry on. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. I have been going through a pretty good patch here recently where I hadn't been feeling a whole lot of pain. I've been doing yoga, walking, meditation every single day. I really think that person <laughs> license plate says douchey. Just <laughs> Anyways, anyways, I hadn't been having a whole lot of pain recently. Everything had been going well. I was on my way. I've been working really hard on this YouTube channel and I had been, my goal was to do at the very least one video a week. Sometimes I did two videos a week if I had the material. But then as I started editing and doing things, my shoulder would get, the one that I edit with especially, would get incredibly sore to the point where I would have to I would be extremely careful about what I was doing and how I was editing and I would end up doing most of the work with my left hand uh, and then my left shoulder got really sore and, and I thought it was just because I was overcompensating because I was using my left shoulder more than I normally would to compensate for not being able to use my right shoulder as much. And then I completely lost the use of my left arm for about 48 hours. I rested it, I didn't move it, I iced it, and all of that. And after about 48 hours, it was fine. Went away, I thought it was bursitis. It still may have been bursitis, I don't know. Um, but the pain, pretty much went away as long as I went easy on it you know I mean there's still pain but just like when I pull too much or you know do something extremely strenuous to the area and so I just didn't <laughs> and everything I mean relatively everything seemed 
fine. It was going pretty well. And then about a week ago today, I woke up and it was like I had been hit by a truck. Or I don't know. I, I woke up and, and I was really, really sore. Really sore. And not just in my shoulders and in my back. All over sore. Like inflammation in my hands where I didn't have full range of motion to clasp things. My, I, can't, I can't, can open jars. I still can't really, uh, but it's gotten better. I've cut out all sugar completely. In tea, in, I, anything inflammatory uh, has pretty much gone out of my life. So no sugar. I already didn't eat meat. I ate dairy occasionally, and so I've cut out the dairy. There's no sugar. There's no meat. There's no gluten. Anyway, so it's starting to get a little bit better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the, the pain is wandering. It goes from my shoulder. It's always in my shoulders, but sometimes it's worse than others. Uh, it's in my hands. It's in my wrists. In my elbows. Oh my God, it's in my elbows. Right here collarbone up here to my shoulder. It hurts for the seatbelt to sit on it. Yesterday I woke up and I couldn't turn my head because of, there was a pain in my neck. I still don't know if that was because of this. I assume it is or I just slept in a weird way. But I guess from here on out I'm going to assume it's whatever this pain is that's causing it. It's not, it's not really like an acute pain. Sometimes it is. Sometimes I'll be sitting there and there'll just be like a stabbing pain in my knee or something. But it's not. It's usually just this dull ache just below the surface. And then when it's really bad, then it's not dull anymore. It's just an ache. There's extreme fatigue that comes along with it. I think I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. I mean, I did have to go through 40 hours of natural child childbirth at a cabin in the woods nobody but my husband my midwife and my mother so I don't know but this pain is never ending can't open jars can't hold my coffee mug um, by handle hold it if I just put my hand around it. Day before yesterday, yesterday was the next day before yesterday, my pinky toe on my right foot, like right there in that joint, was so sore it felt like it was stone bruised. But I know it wasn't stone bruised. Thankfully I have Crocs and so usually if I put on a thick pair of socks in my Crocs, that helps enough with any foot pain that I can still, you know, get around. I can't get things off the top shelf because I can't rotate my shoulder that way. It's extremely hard to pull my hair back and put it in a ponytail because, again, of my shoulders. The pain seems to be pretty symmetrical on both sides. There's a little, I think I see it, swelling started in my finger joints. So I contacted my hormone specialist, told her about all of these things that have been happening. And because I already have one autoimmune disease, she says, if you've got one, you're likely to have four. Uh, I'm gonna do my best not to do that. But I am suspicious that this is another autoimmune disease. At first I was worried that it was MS. I don't think that's what this is. The symptoms seem to be different. So we're gonna hope that that's not what this is. But it's, uh, anyways, so she thinks that it might be another autoimmune disease, as do I. So since I already have an autoimmune disease, I have to go get my blood work done every three months to make sure that everything is going okay. Whether or not I need to adjust 
any of my thyroid meds for the Hashimoto's and things of that nature. So since I already had to go get my blood work done today, we added a bunch of extra tests to check for inflammatory markers to see what's going on. I don't meet with my hormone specialist again till December, but I have access to the blood results you know, within a week or so. So I'll be able to look at my blood test in a week or so and at least somewhat decipher what's happening or I'll be able to know whether or whether it's not this thing, hopefully. So I'm saying all of that because I have lots of video footage of things that I've shot, of videos that I wanna make for you. Problem is, with this pain that I'm having, I can't edit or I can't edit marathon five, six, eight hour sessions like I had been doing. So, the question is, do you guys just wanna see what I have anyway without the intensive editing and all of the cuteness and, and all of the cuts and all of that? Or do you wanna wait until I can edit, if I can ever edit, I don't know. Um, I guess, like this video, I'm gonna edit as little as possible and then put it out just because I'm missing the connection with you. I want to be able to connect with you. Making these videos brings me joy. It makes me happy. I'm, and I wanna bring you along on this journey. I don't wanna do it alone. So I don't, I don't know what's wrong. Something's wrong, something hurts, and I'm in pain. And I don't know what this blood work is going to tell me. I might almost be relieved to have a diagnosis at this point so that I have a plan of action moving forward instead of just having pain for years and not knowing where it's coming from or what's causing it. <sighs> so, I'm driving home right now from this appointment how well I'll be able to walk by the time I get home because I will have been sitting in this position for so long and it makes my hips like lock up and things. So I'm gonna finish this drive home, listen to some music, I'm gonna drink my coffee, go home, see if I can muster the strength to edit this video and get it up for you guys. So thank you for joining me again today. I know this was kind of a different video than I normally make but I really wanted to check in and kind of give you an update on where I've been I'm not going anywhere I just don't know how frequent this is gonna be because I'm working around health issues but I love you guys and thank you so much for being here and I'll check in when I have more news oh and if you go over to the Facebook page I also have an Instagram um, so I can post more frequently there without it being painful. Anyway, so thank you so much. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below so you can get updates on my autoimmune journey. So we can try to figure out what's going on. So we can get to doing more projects and things that are fun and that we enjoy. Alright, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye.